Hello everyone. Uh, this video is dedicated to help students out who are appearing for the JE Mains 2020 examination. As you may be aware that the exam is having a different pattern this year. It's an online exam, but the pattern is different. Uh, instead of 90 questions, we have a 75 questions paper. And out of 75 questions, 15 questions are uh, based on numerical value types. So uh, here are a few tips which might help you to boost your score and to crack the examination. First and foremost, uh, this is a plus four minus one system exam. And because it's a plus four minus one system exam, uh, it's advised that you should attempt uh, any question where either you're able to solve the question or you're able to eliminate at least one option confidently. So even if you're able to eliminate one option confidently in any given question, you are advised to attempt those questions. Secondly, there, is a, there are 15 questions of numerical value types and uh, they don't have negative marking. So make sure, regardless of the fact whether you're able to solve the question or not, whether you have time to solve the question or not, you must attempt a numerical value question by marking some answer. So therefore, do not leave out any numerical value uh, question uh, because it doesn't have negative marking. So it makes all the sense in the world to attempt that question. Thirdly, uh, be thorough with organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry, the product based organic chemistry part and the inorganic chemistry part from NCERT textbooks. From the 11th and 12th standard chemistry textbooks of NCERT, be thorough with the inorganic and organic chemistry aspects uh, because direct questions from NCERT are being asked in the JE mains for a large number of years. Uh, another important tip which we would like to give you is that you should not spend too much time on any given question. Even if you have studied very hard for that particular topic and you feel you can almost crack that question, no question deserves more than 4 minutes for any given question during the JE mains. Uh, it's advised that you practice large number of tests, uh, typically online tests as per the exact JE mains pattern and the user interface so that you get acclimatized uh, to the JE mains environment and you are able to uh, come up with different exam strategies, attempt strategies so as to optimize your attempts and uh, getting maximum answers correct. So uh, practicing large number of tests, at least practicing 20 tests before the actual JE mains exam is desirable. Uh, you are also um, advised to um, go through the previous year's questions especially the last 10, 15, 20 years questions which have been asked in the AIEEE and JEE mains exam because similar type of questions have a propensity to repeat. Therefore, if you are thorough with the questions which have already been asked in this exam before, uh, you would be able to do well. There are roughly 110 chapters in the entire syllabus of JEE mains. Even if you have by and large mastered around 80 chapters to 90 chapters out of this 110, you are good as far as JEE mains is concerned. So just chill, don't take undue tension. One day before the exam, just relax, go through the formulas and results and go to the exam and crack the J events. God bless you, wish you all the best and wish you also a happy new year in advance.